Grinders, get ready to party. We just got ourselves a back-to-back -back nights of a 10x spin and go on Party Poker Ontario. We are going to play these games and once again give you guys a recap. Table 2 on the right for $100. Table 1 on the left is just for $20. Let me just see what we got going on here. Okay, so this is my second 10x on this site. And we've been playing just for, uh, I think it's my fourth day. So that's good to see. We're going to go for a 3 bet on table 1. Um, we have two, this is going to be a wide call. I'm actually just going to call um, just so we can concentrate on this 10x. So gave up a bit of a looser call here. Okay, pocket kings, let's go. Um, we got a limper, we're just going to raise him up. This is a little higher than I would like, let's go there. Hey, pretty scary flop actually because obviously the ace but a lot of even queen jacks um, the ace is actually a good card because it blocks queen jack now and then it's harder for him to have an ace um, he could have the king of spades nice definitely a good card getting that ace oh we're making a comeback in table one I'm not even paying attention over there So if you don't know, we are trying to turn $500 into $1,000. It was a small bankroll challenge to see if we could double our money playing a new site that we haven't been playing to see what it was like, a little little tester. And uh, it's been going pretty good so far. This is not the best type of board to actually see bet, so we're just going to check it down. That's a really bad run out. I find it hard for us to be ahead, and somehow we managed to still, uh, somehow we managed to win that hand. I don't know how. What would he call maybe king high? Six five, nice. Okay, I was going to just concentrate on this game, but this video will take a while the way we're doing it. So why don't we use, holy crap, I don't know how to close that. I'm actually just going to fold that. Why is this not closing? I do not know how to close that. Okay, we're going to use our two tickets here. And then we'll look at the bankroll. So these tickets are from the leaderboard, uh, daily daily boards. First place you get ten, ten dollar tickets. Second place you get eighty, so eight tickets. I'm not gonna chase the leaderboard tonight. We're gonna take a night off, just play a handful of games. Um, so I'll let the guys uh, take it down tonight. We were actually in first last night with a half hour left, and uh, I decided to go to bed knowing that if we did, we'd go, we'd uh, not win it. But um, it was only for an extra twenty dollars, and I figured uh, the sleep was more valuable than just grinding out the wind. Um, so we actually came uh, back to back nights coming in second, and the first night we came in first. Um, do we ever go for a steal here? Could be on a flush draw, get, but I'm trying to get eights, twos to folds. Queen queen could be a scare card. Uh, I don't think his aces would check that whole way. It'd be very rare. Against this limp here, we're just going to jam this guy. So we have a very slight chip lead for the 10x. This is the biggest spin I've seen so far.
Um, I don't plan to play the 50s because they only have, um, I'll show you guys the buy-ins if you don't know. Oh, touched the wrong button somehow. Okay, ace queen suited. A few limps here. Okay, that's actually, that's actually better than a limp, I think. Okay, we are ahead. There we go. Just if you limped there, it would put me in a strange spot. I don't want to really want to bet four or five and and then be out of position, so I'd almost have to just rejam. Um, so I, I was almost uh, preferred to, just to see that jam because it's just an easy uh, rejam. I think we'll go for a check raise on table one here. We have top pair, obviously flush draw. Especially if they're betting men, this is uh, crazy. Okay, we'll defend. By betting this much, we'll probably get a lot of folds on table one, but a lot of turn cards are actually pretty scary too, right? Okay, pocket nines, we're gonna go for a raise. We will call a re-raise. Um, this is one of the regular players. There's only about two or three that chase the leaderboard, it seems. Uh, this guy's uh, in first right now for the evening. Uh, and last night he came in second or third. My, my only three nights on the site, he's been in the top three every time. Just going to go for an all-in here. Okay, we're going to go for a limp trap here. Ace King, we've been raising so much, so see if it's a cooler. Okay, we got him, guys. Oh, bad flop. We need an ace ball. We need an ace baller. Okay, so he doubles up. Um, these stack sizes, we're just going to rejam on table one. Pocket queens, nice, nice little comeback hand. Our stack size, three is actually too much. I didn't see how much we were down to. Um, here I could actually go for a check raise here. He should stab. He might stab at this. Well, I know that looks actually scary, but what fives would he have in his uh, range when we bet uh, raise him up there in that uh, pre-flop? He shouldn't really have to. I guess ace five, but ace five would probably rejam us. Um, so it would have sucked to have a five, but he shouldn't have too many five combos in his uh, in his range in that spot. Ace eight, we're gonna go for just a jam. Okay, last time he did this was King Nine suited. Eight nine, we will call. Easy fold. Hmm, I think we're going to take a stab here. I'm actually just going to bet pot on table two. It's a pretty scary board for him. Did we get there? High card. Um, I think we just jam it here. Represent the straight. Nice. So the 10 jack combo missed. Um, I think we had more sevens in our range there. I think if he was strong, most turns would raise, raise us. Here I actually could have checked. We have enough equity. We could have checked that flop. I didn't have to see about that one. Uh, pocket eights. We'll go for a smaller raise, and we will call a re a re jam all in. Uh, pretty scary flop. I'm wondering if we should have just went all in pre flop. Actually, just talking out loud. Okay, I think we just check call table one. We only beat a bluff. Nice, he doesn't stab at it. Okay, we're, if he limps, we'll just jam him. Here, it could be a cooler, but we are going to jam. Okay, we got him We got him ahead again. Got to hold, got to hold, low cards. 
So could we chop? Yeah, we chopped it. All right, he's won two all-ins that he was behind on, more or less. So let's get the third one. Good thing is us limping with ace queen, uh, sorry ace king earlier, gets them a little trigger, not as uh, trigger happy to to barrel over top of you. I think because with the king of hearts, I don't like that he bet pot, but I think we have to call it the back door hearts. Oh, or the or the turn trips. All right, guys, we got him. We got him. Nice. Guys, we just won our second night of winning 10Xs. Love to see it. We have one more tournament ticket, so I might as well keep you guys here. We'll play one more game for you guys, but uh, that was a big one to win. And nice, the game started right away. So after this, we'll look at the bankroll and tell you guys the, the new plan. Okay, another 2X. So we don't only get 10Xs. We do definitely get our share of 2Xs. Um, I don't know if I've played these two players, so that's good to see. Kind of an awkward awkward stack sizer in table one here. I think we're too strong to fold, but uh, this guy's almost gonna go all in a lot of times. With this type of board, I think we can bet pretty hard. I know it sounds strange, but a jack doesn't check this board when there's a flush draw. They want to start building the pot, hoping you're on a draw. And even two pairs, like it's just a board on these lower stakes. They're they're not they're not gonna double like do a delay bet. So I think if you um, oversize it a lot of times, you're just gonna take it down. And then if a brick, if they do call on a brick comes river, then you can almost guarantee they're on a draw. And then uh, then you should be stealing a lot of those pots that you really have no business taking. Pocket sixes. This is a bit wide, but against a limper here. Um, seems like a newer tables. We'll just take an aggressive one on a 2x. We run a days came and got a flip. Um, looks like we're behind there. Uh, I was definitely a, a, not, I wouldn't say this is like the best shove, but uh, we definitely don't play just like robots. I don't mind mixing it up, um, taking slight spots. Uh, here we'll just try to double up ace king versus pocket tens on table one. Let's see if we can do it to them. Oh, we get trips eights on table two. I like it. Okay, we lose a flip on table one. So we're gonna go down just to one table. And like I said, I'm gonna take a night off tonight, just play this last game here and uh, have an early night. Um, we will try to double up with Jack King. Let's see what this guy's limping with. This seems, this site, I don't know what it is, but all these players limp on the button. I just don't. Don't know why it's so different from one site to another, but I find that pretty crazy. Okay, well, we won the one that mattered, guys. I got a little uh, loose there. I'm pretty tired, so didn't want to grind it out. But here is the bankroll, if I know how to show you guys. Holy crap, how the hell do I show you guys? Okay, we're at $1,260, guys. So we beat our bankroll challenge in uh, just a few days here. We went to double our money. We've more than done that. And just to show you guys, we still actually have, um, I think, $80 coming our way from tournament tickets. So we'll get that tomorrow. Um, I can show you the current standings. We might get a couple tickets tonight, just in the little bit that we did play. So right now we're in fourth place. We have four tickets coming to us. We won't stay in fourth because we'll shut her down tonight. But it uh, looks like first place has a pretty big lead. But if we played, we could definitely lock up second. But uh, we'll, we'll battle a different night. So we might have a couple more tickets. But if you look at last night um we we came in second so we have we have we'll get that tomorrow so that, guys that's our first bankroll challenge done here on this site um we're at 1260 dollars. my new goal here guys let's just try to double it again let's get to two thousand dollars and then uh we'll take things a little more serious maybe start playing a lot more of the 50s but for now uh you know obviously we can go on a downswing soon we've been just a couple days here running pretty hot 
So uh, we might as well just keep seeing uh, if we can double up the money for now. And then also we'll start playing also back on PokerStars, the 5,000 to 10,000 on that site. So a uh, lot, lot to spin and goes uh, and a lot of trying to spin up bankrolls. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.